No, it's still, you see nothing is happening, nothing whatsoever, just still dead. And we're walking home back, back home. Nothing changes. We are walking back, hurrying up, back home. So maybe we can we'll come back tonight to life, you know, I don't know. Nobody knows. No scientists, no. Nobody can tell you this. See, science, science, science is often powerless and can't tell what is going to happen what is happening in the nature like volcano eruptions when they will stop many things in this world are a mystery which I don't know many things we will still discover but many things will still remain a mystery forever we know very little about this world. We know only one percent of of everything. You know, you can imagine how huge is the universe. How many stars are there? Who knows what is there? You know, and a billion, billion of light years away, nobody knows. We can't even know what is twenty kilometers under our feet. You know, so. I don't mention the spiritual world, which is unseen. I believe there is another world, a parallel world to our world, which is spiritual world, immaterial world, because you don't need to have necessarily matter to exist, you know. There are many things which we don't see, but they exist. For example, electricity, wind, you know, and spirits, ghosts, whatever you name it. And they don't eat food, they don't eat, you know, and they can exist forever. So we will never know all things. It's a big puzzle of our world, big puzzle. I saw some volcano bombs here, volcanic bombs. Um, uh, volcano bombs here. I wanted to show you very peculiar shape, but um, I don't see them now. Maybe I find one. I will show you some from the Ice Age, very ancient ones. A bit chilly here. It's not so warm like in the well. It's always colder on the mountains, you know. Every one kilometer up, temperature drops by six degrees Celsius. So the high walk, the cold it gets in Iceland. Like elsewhere, but it's good to have some chill considering Europe is now burning literally burning so hot in Greece now. But in Iceland, here is it's refreshing, it doesn't disturb your mind, you know. You can concentrate on things and be more organized. It helps. That's why the northern nations, I believe, they do have advantage uh, 